In this video, I will show you the operation of PMOS NOR gate. PMOS NOR gate that means this circuit will be constructed using P type enhancement MOSFETs and this will be a NOR gate that means I will apply logical one. That means if at least one of the inputs is at logic one, our output will be zero. This is PMOS logic that means to specify logic zero, I will apply zero volt. To specify logic one, I will apply minus five volt. Therefore, it will be a negative logic circuit because the logic 0 voltage is greater than the logic 1 voltage. Why we have to apply negative voltage for logic 1? The threshold voltage of a PMOS is a negative number, let's say around minus 1 volt. To turn on the PMOS, I have to apply greater negative voltage that means here I am applying minus 5 volt okay to specify logic 1 now see this is the structure of PMOS NOR gate here you will see the transistor Q1 will be our loading MOSFET or load MOSFET Q2 and Q3 will be switch MOSFET Now see, this will be a load MOSFET, that means it will act like a load resistor and for that we will put the transistor Q1 in ON state, it will always be in ON state. How do we put the transistor Q1 in ON state? See, this is our VDD minus 5 volt, that means the negative terminal of VDD is here and the positive terminal is here. Okay, the minus 5 voltage is applied at the gate terminal of the transistor Q1, so it will always be in on state. And we fabricate the transistor Q1 so that its on state resistance is always 100 kilo, around 100 kilo ohm. So I can replace the Q1 transistor with a resistor of 100 kilo ohm. Q2 and Q3 will be switching MOSFET. That means when it, they will be in on state, they will provide a resistance of 1 kilo. During off state, it will be 10 to the power 12 ohm. So I can replace the transistors Q2 and Q3 with resistors R2 and R3 respectively. Therefore, I can replace this entire network with a resistive network like this and they will be mutually comparable. Now, let me talk about the logical operations of PMOS NOR gate. Logical operations. That means, let's say first case. A will be 0, B will be 0. That means this terminal is connected to ground. This terminal is also connected to ground. That means the transistor Q2 will be in off state. Q3 will also be in off state. Off state resistance or channel resistance will be 10 to the power 12 ohm. 10 to the power 12 ohm. Now see, I can disconnect the source and drain terminals from the given network. Or I can disconnect the two ends of R2 and R3 from the network. So you will see there will be no closed path for current flow from this ground to this terminal. See, they are open circuit. They are open circuit. Therefore, our ID will be equal to zero. ID R1 will also be equal to zero. That means there is no voltage drop from this terminal to this terminal. So you will see as there is no voltage drop between this terminal to this terminal, this resistance will act like a virtual short. So this point will get into here and between these two terminals, I will get minus five volt between this terminal to this ground terminal. This will indicate logic one. Now consider the second case when A will be at logic 0 and B will be at logic 1. That means this terminal is connected to ground. This terminal is connected with the negative terminal of 5 volt source. Q2 will be in off state. Q3 will be in on state. This off state resistance will be 10 to the power 12 ohm. This will be 1 kilo ohm. Now see. The source and drain terminals of Q2 will be an open circuit. So I can disconnect the two terminals of R2 from the given network. Now see, after disconnecting R2, you will see I will have two resistors R1 and R3 connected in 
series so i can easily calculate output voltage by using voltage divider rule 1k divided by 100k plus 1k into minus 5 and that should be equal to 1 by 101 into minus 5 this should be around 0 volt or this will indicate logic 0 now i can show the similar case in case of 1 and 0 in that case the transistor q2 will be in on state q3 will be in off state in that case this resistance will be 1 kilo ohm and this resistance will be 10 to the power 12 ohm in that case i will replace this with open circuit and this with a resistance of 1 kilo and i can show the similar case output voltage will be logic 0 okay now let me consider the last case when a will be at logic 1 and b will be at logic 1 that means i will apply minus 5 volt between a and b terminals so both the transistors q2 and q3 will be non state so on state resistance will be 1 kilo and 1 kilo therefore you will see the resistors r2 and r3 will be in parallel because they are connected between this terminal to this terminal so their equivalent parallel resistance will be 0 0.5 kilo ohm therefore if i apply voltage divider rule i will get output voltage equal to 0 0.5 k divided by 100 k plus 0 0.5 k into minus 5 this will be around 0 volt this will indicate logic 0 so for 1 1 i will get output voltage at logic 0 that's it thank you